All right, so this is a little bit surprising. We're actually taking on Tapu Koko right now. I wasn't expecting this. So we're battling Tapu Koko. Welcome, everyone. We just jumped right into it right after the festival. <laughs> I was not expecting that. So here we are, and uh, we're gonna catch it, or we're gonna we're gonna try to catch it. Let's see how this goes. I I actually don't have anything good for it. I'm pretty sure Fairy resistance bug. And, wow, yeah, Zekavolt is the worst Pokemon to face Tapu Koko. I'm just going to stay in, though, and just... Because since I want to catch Tapu Koko, I'm just going to spam Thunderbolt. It's my most powerful move, and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll deal a lot of damage. I wanted a Tapu Koko with a good nature, though. I wasn't expecting this. I thought we would be able to at least save the game before it, but it's okay. We'll see what we can do. I like Tapu Koko a lot. I think it's a great Pokemon. Very powerful. It's very fast, actually. I don't I don't know why I just went for agility. It's, it doesn't need it. <laughs> and we're going to try to catch it in an Ultra Ball, maybe? I, I don't think it matters. I mean, there are times where I, I do care about what type of Pokeball the Pokemon is in. And Tapu Koko is a Pokemon I like, so it's definitely something that I would consider with it. Alright, let's see what balls we have. We have Dusk Ball... I think it is night in the game, so that might help. Heal ball, lure, lure ball, luxury ball. Alright, we'll just go for the ultra balls here. That's okay. Yep, <laughs> that's going to be difficult to catch. We did weaken it. I don't, I'm, I'm afraid to weaken it anymore. Because I might accidentally kill it. So if I had Snorlax with me, I could use I could use Happy or sorry, Hold Back, which is essentially False Swipe, which will always leave it with one HP. Okay. We're making progress. Okay, the electric train disappeared. I like how it cha changed. Come on, there we go! Oh my goodness, are you serious? So close! It really was so close. They faked me out. Because it, it even, after it kept, after it stopped shaking, it stayed like that for a little bit. So I thought it was going to click, but alas. Ugh. Luckily for me, it doesn't really seem like this Tapu Koko has, has a lot of threatening moves. Agility doesn't matter. Um, discharge and electro or yeah, discharge and electro ball. I resist any or resist anyway. Sorry, nature's madness is a good one though because it's like super fang. It will always take half of my health. So what it can do is it can spam nature's madness until I'm really low, and then just kill me with discharge or electro ball. So we definitely want to catch this thing soon. One, oh come on. Also, the electric terrain makes it so that it cannot fall asleep. Even I don't have any sleep moves on my team, but if you're trying to catch Tapu Koko by putting it to sleep, then um, you can't. <laughs> well, you can now since the the terrain has worn off. Almost, come on. Alright, at least it's spamming agility, so it's not really doing any damage to me. Come on, Tapu. Big boy. Alright, we're dead now. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Vika Volt. Yes, of course we're going to use the next Pokemon. I wonder if we run if it'll come back. I doubt it. I'm going to go into Komoa because Komoa will resist the electric type moves. So we can just keep throwing those Ultra Balls. We have 54 left. Yeah, this Pokemon's definitely hard to catch. Needless to say...
<sighs> Arg. Oh, okay, that resists Electro Ball. Nice. Three. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Tapu Coco. Very, very nice. It's all sparkly. So three mysterious Pokeballs for the other Tapus. You registered a land spirit. If I were you, I'd check it at once. The guardian deity of Mele Mele is brimming with curiosity. It summons thunderclouds and storms. It summons thunderclouds and stores their lightning inside its body. Let's give it a nickname. It's winter time. It's near Christmas time. I like curling up with a good book or a good game. Playing a good game by the fire and drinking a nice mug of hot cocoa. 